welcome back to the channel and today we are going to make pancakes this is three months of trying and error process i think we tried a lot of different recipes i was only tasting them she yes was, she was so she i was, was trying fun. a lot of different recipes on how to do a perfect keto pancake and i didn't like any of them for real and i was still mixing 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 different recipes together taking in and out of ingredients and then very accidentally I made a recipe what was tasting really good. It was like 90-99% to the real pancake when you had a pancake before keto. You don't feel the almond flour taste. It tastes very creamy and nice. And I was like, okay, this is it. Like after three months, I felt I find the perfect keto pancake recipe we really like. And now we are going to share it with you and it's a secret ingredient in this and you will see what it is all right so let's get some cooking done all right so you need half a cup of almond flour just put it in there i use monk fruit to this recipe but i ran out so i'm gonna use stevia and you need like half a tablespoon we're going to leave a description in the a link in the description uh, so you guys can see which one we use. Yeah, exactly. But if you have monk fruit, use monk fruit. That's the perfect ingredient. A pinch of salt, one full egg, you just throw it in there. And then you use baking powder. I use usually a teaspoon. And the secret ingredient is this. This is whipped cream. I think this is what will make it to not taste like almond flour. And then I usually use two tablespoons. Very good. And now you just mix this together. Okay, so this is the mixture. And now we will make the pancakes. So, you need a pan. I would use a pancake pan if it would work with this induction stove, but it doesn't. So, yeah, I just use a pan. N new kitchen. We new just kitchen. found out that we can throw out our pancake pan. Yeah, we need a new one. So, you use butter. And I will have this form, this little form to make a small pancake out of it. Because I don't have a pancake pan right now. You melt the butter. enough and I will take it a bit lower okay and now you can throw a little bit of your mixture in here like this let me just wait and if you want to see more of these videos and new recipes every week and tips or how to go about your keto journey then consider to hit the red subscribe button and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos and let's see how this is going Okay, started to form, you see, it comes off the form, now I will try to flip it. This is a total squirrel technique right now because I don't have my regular pancake. <laughs> regular pancake pan. So I'm just trying to get the pancake form. Now I'm on medium heat. I will maybe put it a bit higher that the kitchen is new so we're having difficulties yeah. our normal and no pancake yeah. pancake pan and i just find out in the video that it doesn't work okay it doesn't look a pancake but it's a pancake you have to give me a star for the trying an a for effort yeah exactly I mean, what we said in the beginning of the video, that it will taste like a pancake. We didn't say it will look like a pancake. Exactly, but if I would have my pancake pan, it would look like a pancake. Okay, so the first pancake is done. We're gonna do one more. Hopefully that will be better with some practicing. Put some butter there. Okay, good. Let's hope for the best. So this one <coughs> is also looking like a pancake. It looks like a pancake. I made it without a pancake pen. It looks like a small pancake. 
All right, so this is good. Just put that on the plate. So this mixture gives us two pancakes like this. And what I like to do to put some syrup on it is I use the two pancakes and usually we top it off with syrups and we tried this uh, sugar-free maple syrup from La Canto. It's quite good, I think. So if you like maple syrup, you can try this one. Link in the description to this. Yeah. And then I recently tried this Walden Farms product. And I think the caramel is the best so far for me from strawberry caramel or chocolate. And then both of all these three is very keto friendly, so you can try them out. Depends on your taste. I love strawberry or caramel to put on it. So what do you want, honey? What should I put on it for you? Go with your favorite. Okay, we will do caramel. So then we will put a little bit of caramel sauce on it. Oh yeah, you're looking really good. This looks very good. We will have the sauce to run a little bit. And then you can top it off with some pecans. I really like to put some crushed pecans on top like this. It's quite delicious. You can even put some blueberries or raspberries if you like. Really nice. Or any other nuts. Good. So here is your caramel pecan pancake. Thank you. So let's try this baby. The calorie data should be on the screen. Yeah, I'm curious how you, if you really like this recipe. Let's see. How does it taste for you? To be honest, is it Amazing. tasting Amazing. like a normal pancake? I mean it tastes like a normal American pancake. I yeah. drew a different pancake. But uh, yeah, it's amazing, honey. You did, you really did a good job. Yeah. The heavy cream takes away the strong almond flowers. And if you do this recipe, I think the best sweetener was monk fruit in this recipe from all other sweeteners I used or tried this recipe with. Exactly. So the recipe is up on our website. You can find it in the description. And we try to include all the links to the products that we use in the description so feel free to try them out and uh, if you have tried this recipe please let us know what you thought and see you in the next video ciao ciao